Rarely has a game between two out-of-form sides carried so much weight. Chief, the Blues and the Swans desperately need to win. Who are you going with? Uh, I can't find any case to mount here for the Swans. As, as much as I think the Blues have been underperforming, they are without a defence. And what you've got to think, if you're Michael Voss, the simple, simple strategy this week is kick the ball forward. They get lots of the ball, the Blues, but they don't have many inside 50s. But you're coming up against a defence that can't curtail the impact of Kurnow and Mackay. Tell the Crummers to get at their feet and just pump the ball forward and give yourself a chance because I don't think that there's any way the Swans could possibly beat the Blues. Are you anticipating a low-scoring affair considering the heat's coming on the defence for the Carlton? Well, Carlton's averaging 79 points a game, and that includes a 152 against the Eagles. But that, looking at this game, what stood out to me was, as Jason just mentioned, the Swans' defence is really depleted. They've lost a Ruckman as well this week. So yeah. if the Blues can just get enough supply in there, uh, Charlie Kerner kicked six against the Swans last time they played. You'd think him and Harry Mackay actually showed uh, some signs last week they could get on the end of a few. Now, you've been on the Blues all year. <laughs> you must be licking your chops thinking, finally, an easy win. I couldn't agree or disagree with you more. I, I told you, in terms of your stocks, I was I was all in. Chips in with the Blues, now I'm off. I can tell you that. Are you tipping Sydney? Well, I know you and Al are going with the Blues, but I'm tipping Sydney. I've lost faith and I'm expecting the Swans to win at home. You know it's a better betting app when you've got stats and insights for every major game and race. Plus expert opinions from the best minds in the game. All in the palm of your hand. That's better. What's gambling really costing you?